look at this this is beautiful just simply beautiful hello everybody how's it going Berton here welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today i want to present to you guys a new software to edit photos that is also available for windows if i'm not mistaken but also for linux and maybe maybe this will be the game changer for you that want to leave lightroom and windows uh, all together okay so let's get onto it right now at least as far as i know it's only developed by this guy over here timon cat is a photographer and he's doing the work pretty much alone if i'm not mistaken so uh, just to say if you guys like his work don't forget to follow and help and support him if you want to download it you just have to go here to download the app okay here on his screen and you will find all the files here okay so you can do it so let's go so how this program work the difference between this and dark table and i think is that compares to lightroom in some manners and probably will make you think about test it at least is the um mask options because it has generative ai okay and it can uh, do automatically maskings and it's, it helps a lot there's a lot that is a lot of people that use it me personally i don't use anymore but it was amazing when i use it uh, so this program has it in cpu and on free ui and cloud not yet but will be coming soon yeah so i did think this is the main difference here okay uh, the another things is very self-explanatory so you can check it out later so let's get on to it you have to select here a folder that you want to edit you can click and select the folder it saved the last the previous folder that i selected okay with the photos it took a little bit of time okay to load all the photos with all the thumbnails you can change here a lot of things for example preview i will downgrade it a little bit just to be easier and here this is the interface that you can use to select the photos and move around it's beautiful let me say this it is beautiful this transparency here you can select image you can copy settings from one photo to another it's very intuitive like uh the normal ones okay not the regular ones and this is the interface uh, i think it is amazing if dark table ha has this this interface here they would be amazing perfect everything down to the last minute details just a quick info i had some themes for dark table for you to see in the link down in the description so don't forget to check it okay let's go so uh it is not too smooth as the other programs it, it looks like luminar new for me the the same way to processor process imaging thing for example exposure it takes a little bit of time for add the values okay so you can see that it's changed but it takes a little bit of time not like dark table that is almost instantly okay the, the contrast the shadows the the developer said online that this is not perfectly color accurated at the moment it is more focused in make it stable and fast and smooth so yeah be aware of this if you want to use it professionally okay be aware of that so you have the basic here you have the curve you know, like all the colors you have look at this this is beautiful just simply beautiful see white balance you have here everything that we need for color mid-tones with wheels of colors helps a lot and boom just like that i made a vintage look image i'm too good to be true we have details so you can improve sharpening if you want to use it like an instagrammer yeah this is what you need the presence the haze structure you can improve you have noise reduction we have to test the noise reduction later between here the table and other. you can remove chromatic aberrations and a lot of stuff and we also have effects you can implement lut files you 
can use negatives to convert it to the real color. See, this is pretty much in intuitive. It's pretty intuitive. I just want to show you how the interface looks like. Okay, you can crop, and you have already some, and it's smooth. Yeah, it, it starts stuttering a little bit. See, yeah. so free original. You can mess with this. Let me. You have the masking. Now this is the point. So let's select subject. Yep, and just like this. Bug, little bug. We downloaded it already. Let's move it on. So presets. A very nice thing here is that you can get presets for the community. In this case, just for the creator, most part of the time. And there is one more people here that put some presets here. And this is like, click save, 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 save. Probably you will be able to as well share your presets with the community. So keep that in mind. Huh? Very, very nice. So let's get back here. Masking. Okay. So sky, foreground, radial linear. Let's click in subject. Mm. And it's analyzing and boom, you have your object more or less selected. Uh, let me say, this is fantastic. You don't have this in, in dark table, for example. In dark table, you have to go manually looking for the subject. And this is amazing. This really enhances um, our workflows. Okay, so it's very good. And you can go adding more subjects and more subjects. Just select the area, boom. So you can move and mess around and select between masks and it's working pretty good it's very good let, let me see and if you change select the sky okay everything is the sky you can just move around and you can select and delete you can select and delete the masks okay so just let's remove this one here this one here and boom. there we go so the masks are working and it's promising and you can do everything uh, that you can do in the these basic adjustments but in the mask as well okay you can also add here the community presets and it's pretty fast to add the presets here you have your generate generative AI edit you can erase but the subject for example let's erase this one right here let's see how much time it Look. let's see how much time it takes and boom perfect not but it's free so it is amazing like like it's free we are talking about something free that you can run in your computer okay okay so let's select here Okay, and paint selection because it selected the, the boat AI subjective. Okay, and it's a little bit better. Who will say that is a boat over there? Nobody will say that. Look at this amazing, amazing. You, you are a genius. This is pretty good. And here in the end, also, you have the share or ex export uh, tab when you can select the format that you want to export per image remove the metadata add watermark look at this you can select images as watermark this is amazing 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 this for the regular day-to-day -day jobs uh like uh, in instagram social media posts and etc it is more than enough and very capable so i just want to share with you guys this new program let you know that it exists it is available you can download it right now and test for yourself i'll leave the link in the description for the github page and you can test for yourself 
take your conclusions and let me know in the comments what you think about this program probably this one will be on will be one of the best ones in the future in a close future who knows and that's all guys thank you so much and let me know what you guys think about this program okay and see you the next video bye bye